Hey there, it's Gabe again with Vitev. Uh, we've showed you how we do the natural alkaline process with our water, how we create that mineral rich alkaline purple water that everybody wants to have. And so what we're going to do now is talk more about the negative ORP, the antioxidant properties to the water. This process is much harder to explain than just saying we're going to run this through minerals and it's going to dissolve them and that's what we get. Uh, the, the negative charge just takes a little bit longer to explain. I'm not going to try to do that right now. I just suggest you go to the website. You'll see an FAQ section up at the top. And click into that and you'll find one of the answers in there for the question of how do we ionize. And uh, as you click through that, you're going to see two options. You're going to see one that's a little bit more uh, technical, a little bit more of a scientific explanation. And then you'll find one that's built more on the analogy of a relationship. And that's something that we found that's easier to not only explain, uh, but to help teach others as well. So pick whatever one you like and go with that. Or don't go to any of them if you don't care, if you're more concerned with the what we get versus how we get it. Um, and so what I'm going to show you real quick is just kind of what you can expect from a negative ORP with our systems as well. Um, we're going to start with just a clean glass, calibrated ORP meter, and some tap water. And let's see what we start with here tonight. You get a lot of variability in ORP, uh, and that can be based on time of the year, temperature of the water, uh, what the municipal supply is doing. All those things have a bearing on the ORPs that we can get out of the tap. Um, I checked this earlier today and it was about a, a positive almost 200 and we'll see what we have tonight because it seems to be going much slower tonight than it did earlier today yeah, it's still climbing up but it's going pretty slow so let's just figure let's start with the plus 150 so I'm going to sit here and wait for it okay so we'll start there tonight as I said it varies all the time and now let's get some water out of the flow. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Okay, so it's still showing basically where we started with on the other side. And we'll watch it decline down now. We're jumping into the negatives pretty quick, up to negative 200, 225. We're going to make a run on negative 300 here. Um, natural alkalinity and natural ionization both uh, both require contact time. How much time the water is in contact with the media. The longer it's touching it, the more potent that water can be. And so you'll see here, right at about a minus 300 tonight, which is pretty good. That's pretty much right in the window that we see uh, with, our, with our natural filters out there. You're going to be somewhere between minus 200 and minus 400 typically. Uh, it usually starts a little bit on that closer to that negative 3, negative 4 side. And it will gradually decline through the life of your filter until you're down in that negative 150, negative 200. But a pretty respectable range and something that we're pretty favorable of. Like we say on the website, we can't make a negative 800, but really you can't do that at all with natural minerals. It just, it's not possible. And when we think about that, we, we just feel that that natural spectrum, what we can create naturally, is probably best for our bodies anyway. And that we shouldn't be supercharging it synthetically and, and doing those types of things. So a common theme again here is simplicity. It's pretty easy to make. It's not difficult. These are the same minerals that we use to show the pH. And now we're just showing the negative ORP properties of them as well. Um, not complicated. Don't need big plates. Don't need expensive uh, systems. None of that stuff to do a good, clean, healthy antioxidant water. So let us know if you have any questions. Uh, hit us on the phone, the uh, email, or you can send us a live chat as well and talk to us that way. We're happy to help, and we look forward to working with you soon.